Welcome back. And now it's over to Jim McGinn, who's going to give us a talk on the different shanties and what they were for. In South Australia, I was born. Heave away, haul away. In South Australia, round Cape Horn, we're bound for South Australia. Hi, I'm Jim McGeehan, and I'm going to tell you about uh, sea shanties and the tasks that they were used for. And uh, I'm going to illustrate this with uh, some uh, slides. Uh, and the slides are sketches by Stan Hugel, uh, the great shanty man and artist and, uh, and author. And uh, so I'm using some, some of the, uh, the sketches from his book, Shanties from the Seven Seas, which is the, the one book that all shanty enthusiasts has to have to have it if, if you only have one book on shanties then you want shanties from the seven seas by stan hugel i think it was published first published about 1956 but it's still available now uh, it's been it's been reprinted many many times it's available in paperback as well and uh, so stan i met uh, when i was 16 years old and we became great friends and we communicated we wrote to each other for years uh, uh, until his death in 1986, when he was not, uh, well, sorry, 1992, when he was 86. This is one of Stan's paintings behind me. He painted this for me 50 years ago. Uh, it's called The South Spainer. And um, anyway, uh, Stan's book, um, we, we'll be using some of the, uh, the, the sketches from there. I do have permission to use these from his, from his, his widow, Bron. Uh, and... Uh, so if we could see the slide of uh, Stan Hugel now and uh, we'll talk about the, the shanties. So I've got to, this is uh, Stan Hugel, a great photograph of, of him there, uh, sing, singing shanties. I remember when that photograph was taken, I was in, with him in France when that happened. And uh, yeah, so uh, shanties basically fall into two categories. Uh, there's heaving shanties and hauling shanties. Uh, heaving shanties offer pushing pushing on the, the capstan bars or the handles of a pump or the handles of the, the windlass and hauling shanties, they're for pulling on ropes and there's lots of different types of ropes aboard ship so there's lots of different types of hauling as well so there's hauling on the halyards and the sheets and the braces and so we have lots of different types of, uh, of heaving and hauling shanties. We're going to start with the, the first uh, task which would be getting, getting the ship to sea by taking in the anchor and to do that, you'd haul on the anchor, the, sorry, you'd heave on the, on the anchor capstan bars. So here we have a slide of the sailors heaving at the anchor capstan and uh, the sing, singing as they're, as they're pushing the capstan round. And uh, a, a good chanty for, for this would be um, things like Shenandoah, a slow chanty, because it's a kind of slow march around the capstan, heaving in this, this heavy anchor. So something like... Um, Missouri, she's a mighty water, away a rolling river. The Indian camp lies on her border, and away we're bound to go across the white Missouri. The anchor took a lot of getting in because basically when you start winding up that winding that capstan uh, you're not actually pulling the anchor up at all you're, you're pulling the ship along till the whole ship is vertically above the anchor and then you've got to pull the anchor out of everything it's got embedded in and then it'll come up quite briskly and uh, and you'll see on the sketch there that one one of the two anchors has already been been uh, heaved in and it's lying on the deck and the other one is, is about to be brought in so uh, before the invention of the capstan, actually, the, um, the, the device used for taking in the anchor was called a windlass, a brake windlass, a massive device, a very uh, heavy, heavy job, a big seesaw kind of device. And uh, so the, the next task we're going to show is the brake windlass. I, I worked on one of these two years ago um, on the Charles W. Morgan, the last whaling ship uh, in, in um, Mystic, Connecticut. And they've got one of these, and they're really heavy to work on. It's very, very difficult singing a shanty and uh, and pulling up, uh, pushing on these bars at the same time. You bring the bars down from above your head, down to sort of chest or waist height in one movement, and then in the next part of the chorus, you push it down to, to knee height, and then back up again. So you've got half, half of the men on on one end of the seesaw and half on the other, the brake with windlass. A great shanty for for this would be. Um, Heave away me Johnnies. 
Now there's some that's bound for New York town, and some that's bound for France. Heave away, me Johnny, heave away. And there's some that's bound for the Bengal Bay, but it teach them whales a dance. Heave away, me Johnny boys, we're all bound to go. So that was one of the uh, the seesaw devices on board a ship. Another kind of seesaw device was the pumps, but uh, the, the, the kind of uh, pump shanty I'm going to demonstrate on the next slide is um, a, a Downton pump shanty. There's two different types of pump shanties. There's a, a, the, the, um, the seesaw type of pump shanty, which just goes basically jiggity, 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 jig. And <clears throat> any sort of jig would do for that. Um, but in about 1850, a man called William Downton invented a, a flywheel pump called the Downton pump, which took a lot of the back-breaking toil out of the pumps, which was an awful task. Sailors hated working at the pumps. And uh, so you see some of the men here, they're heaving on the bars, uh, the, the, the handles of the of the uh, the pump, the Downton pump there, the two big flywheels. But then some of the other sailors have got a, a bell rope attached to the to the handle, and they're they're hauling on the on the bell rope to help the the um, the, the, the the flywheel at the top of its travel to get it over the top of its travel and then it comes down quite easily again. So this is the only type of device aboard ship where you have heaving and hauling at the same time, heaving at the handles and hauling at the ropes. And uh, so a perfect shanty for this would be uh, South Australia. In South Australia I was born, heave away, haul away. In South Australia round Cape Horn, we're bound for South Australia. Haul away, you rolling king, heave away, haul away. Haul away, you'll hear me sing, we're bound for South Australia. So that brings us into the hauling types of shanties. Now start with the simplest type of hauling. The simplest type of hauling was done at the sheets. And uh, the next slide shows hauling at the fore sheets, hauling on the fore sheet. And here you see the guys are hauling on a rope. It's coming down from the corner of the sail, which we see in the top of this slide, and uh, coming down through a block and tackle. And then it's going to be made fast to a belaying pin. You see some belaying pins stuck in the, the side of the, of the bulwarks of the ship there. And so yeah, you're assisted by gravity here because uh, you're pulling the rope and the sail is coming down uh, assisted by gravity. So it's a fairly simple type of, of, of shanty, usually with just one pull in each refrain. These, these type of shanties usually go line, refrain, line, refrain. Not like the heaving shanties, which often have a big chorus like the last one, like, uh, like um, South Australia. So here's a, a typical shanty to be hauled, uh, for hauling on the, on the sheets uh, would be Hold on the bowl and Kitty is me darling. Hold on the bowl and the bowl and hold, hold on the bowl and so early in the morning. Hold on the bowl and the bowl and hold. And you're only pulling on that last hole, so there's not so many um, pulls uh, in the in the shanty as there are in some of the other kinds of hauling shanties. The next type of hauling shanty will be done. At the halyards now this was much harder work so the next slide shows hauling at the halyards hauling at the topsail halyards it says here and you see that so you can see it's harder work already because you've got some guys pulling vertically downwards on the halyard down to the block and tackle on the deck and the rest of the crew are pulling horizontally and because what you're pulling up is a you're pulling the heavy yard you're raising the yard hull yard from the old english hull yard so in this type of shanty, you're, you've got the, um, the, the sail uh, is, is attached to a, a movable yard and the, the yard slides up and down the mast. So when you pull on the halyard, you raise one yard uh, above, uh, above another one that's uh, fixed below. The, the, the corners of the sail are attached to the, the yard below. And as we pull the, the big yard up, it might weigh three quarters of a ton or more. Um, the, the, the sail is attached to it, so the sail bellies out until it, it's taut. And then again, we're going to tie it down to the belaying pins, which you see there in the sketch. And uh, so a great shanty for this. One of the favourites of the British sailors was, um, was Blow the Man Down.
Oh, as I was a rolling down Paradise Street, to me way, hey, blow the man down, a handsome fat policeman, a chance for to meet. Oh, give me some time to blow the man down, blow the man down, bullies, blow the man down, to me way, hey, blow the man down. We'll blow him right back into Liverpool town. Oh, give me some time to blow the man down. So the sailors aren't just pulling on the word blow, whereas in the previous chant they only pulled on the word haul. Uh, they are pulling on the word blow, but they're also pulling on the Timmy way and the give me some time. There's two pulls in each refrain. And this is how you can tell a, a Halia chanty from a sheet chanty because the sheet chanties just have one pull in the refrain and the Halia chanties have two. And uh, so you can see this is really heavy work. And in, later, in the later days of sail, this hard work was, was taken away by the invention of a, another kind of device, which was called the halyard winch. And so we're moving on to the halyard winch now. We see now the halyard is now comes down and it comes down to a bit the device a bit like the Downton pump. It's a kind of flywheel device. And the rope is coming down and being wrapped around that, that, that winch. And the sailors are, are, are just heaving on the handle. So here we have a, a hauling um, task, hauling on a rope, but it's been done by heaving on the handles of a halyard winch. And this only occurred in the later days of sail, as I say, which sailors at that time would be look, would look out for the ships that had the modern devices. They had the modern devices like the Downton pump and the halyard winch, because that took a lot of the backbreaking toil uh, out of out of uh, their daily their, their their daily work. So a great shanty for this is, uh, is New York Girls. As I walked down the Broadway one evening in July, I met a maid who asked me trade and a sailor, John, says I, and away is Santy, my dear, and he. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? This court kind of dates the shanty, so the mid-19th century, the European sailors going over to America um, and bringing with them this European dance, the polka, which they didn't have in America at that time, and they're teaching the American girls how to dance this European dance. And um, so uh, the next uh, kind of hauling would be done at ropes called the braces, because as well as the, the yards moving up and down the mast, they also swiveled around the mast because otherwise you couldn't change direction. If the yards were just square across the mast all the time, uh, you would only be able to go in one direction. So you had to be able to turn the mast, turn the, the yards around the mast. So they swiveled and they came down through very long ropes um, called the braces. And these come down through a series of flocks and tackles. And uh, <clears throat> they have a 12 to 1 work to, to load ratio. So you, you pull 12 foot of rope to get one foot of movement. So as you can see, you've got to run quite a long way with your rope just to turn the yards around by a, a short distance. We see two groups of sailors here uh, hauling on two uh, of, the, of the braces to turn, to turn obviously turn two yards at the same time, probably the, the main yard and the mizzen yard or the fore yard and the main yard. And um, so we're, we're, this lends itself to what we call a, a stamp and go kind of chorus where the sailors would stamp and then run with the rope and then sometimes <coughs> they'd have to peel off and and let go of the rope and join it and go join the end of the queue and uh, um, keep the ke keep the kettle boiling as, as as they used to say in the in the schoolyard and uh, so th this was a, a peculiar kind of shanty. Um, the drunken sailor is is one of these uh, these shanties. I'm not very fond of the drunken sailor myself, so I'll sing another type of uh, of, of shanty for the braces, uh, which was another favourite of mine anyway. We'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. And we'll all hang on behind. Roll the old chariot along. And uh, so that was work at the braces. Now, other work to do on, on board a ship um, that wasn't didn't really fall into the category of heaving or hauling. Uh, for instance, uh, most of the shanties we've been singing about the, the hauling have been setting the sails. But of course, as well as setting the sails, when bad weather came along, you had to take the sails in again. 
uh, because they could be just, you know, a gale of wind would just rip them away. So here we have the sailors out on the yard on the, with their feet just, just balanced on a, a, a rope called, called a, a, the, um, uh, the, the a tow rope down, down below. And uh, they're bouncing around up there uh, with, with handfuls of, of wet, frozen sail. And they're having to, to pull all this over the yard because if you left much of it dangling down, as I say, the wind would, could, could rip, it, rip it to shreds. And so you you just wanted a, a good heave, good heave on the on the on the sail. Everybody pulling at the same time. And so you just w w wanted a song like Paddy Doyle's Boots, where everybody's going to pull on on the word ya yeah and the word boots. And it goes to me, hey 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 ya, yeah. we'll pay Paddy Doyle for his boots. And then the chanty goes on, and you're just pulling on certain words. And get all that sail wrapped around the yard and that's called bunting up a bunt shanty another shanty that was uh, sung at sea uh, was sung after the first month because sailors were paid in advance they got what, what they called a month's advance so they got one month's pay before they even set, set sail and of course sailors being sailors they would go ashore and they would spend all that month's pay it was supposed to be spent on, on buying sort of heavy weather gear, you know, sou'westers and oil skins and things like that. Of course, it was spent on drink and women. And uh, so when they went on, on board, probably without any sou'westers, um, they, they were working for nothing uh, for the first month because they'd spent all that money. So they said they were working. They were flogging a dead horse. That's where the phrase comes from. They'd working for the dead horse. So here we have a dead horse. Then after one month at sea, they would start to earn money again. So they'd make an, a horse, they'd make an effigy of a horse out of old sails and old polyasses of straw and things that they had on board ship, anything they had. And then it was left to the, the job of the youngest boy uh, on, on ship. He would have to go out along the main yard and on the, on the signal, he would cut the rope with his big gully knife that he's got in his hand and the, the dead horse would drop in the sea and float away. And that was the end of the dead horse. And after that, they were earning money. So they, they felt much better about doing their work after that. And uh, so this is the dead horse shanty. A poor old man come a-riding by, and we say so, and we hope so. I say, old man, your horse will die. A poor old man, and if he dies, we'll tan his hide. And we say so, and we hope so. And if he lives, that horse will ride. Oh, poor old man. So that was sung after one month at sea. At the end of the voyage, where, where we crossed the Atlantic or wherever we've been going, we, we're going to come into a harbour and we're going to have to, to uh, walk the ship along uh, alongside the, the dock. And there was particular shanties used for this. And one of the, the favourite shanties was... was Lever Johnny Lever. It sometimes, sometimes it was used to pump the ship dry um, when it had arrived in, it, in, its, in its home port or in, in a foreign port. And sometimes it was used to walk the ship alongside. So here we've got a, a quayside and where, where the sailors are along on a, around a capstan. Not the main, big main deck, not the big anchor capstan this time, which was on the foredeck. This is on the main deck and they've got a smaller capstan here. There were other capstans aboard the ship. And they're, again, stamping around this capstan and uh, they would use it in, in this channel because they, they were paid for the voyage. So at the end of this voyage, even if it was, they were in New York or wherever, Valparaiso, wherever they were, that was the end of the voyage. They were paid off. They could go ashore there and spend their money. Usually they signed back on again and came back home again, but sometimes they didn't. Sometimes they stayed where they were and enjoying themselves. And uh, so this was the end of the voyage. So they would say, oh, well, I'm not coming back on this horrible ship. And then they would use all the verses of this song to say horrible things about the captain and the bosun and the cook and the terrible food that they got. And uh, so this uh, shanty wasn't all that encouraged by the uh, the afterguard, the uh, the officer. So leave a Johnny Lever, we'll leave you with this one. Oh, the times was hard and the wages low. Leave a Johnny Lever. And now once more ashore we'll go, and it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done, 
and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave us. Time for us to leave. Thank, Thank you very much. Good <laughs> Thanks, Jim. That was wonderful. Very informative. Very informative indeed. That was great. And we'll see Jim a little bit later because he's going to be performing with the Keelers, unless I'm greatly mistaken, so we can hear more of Jim's wonderful singing and um, more of these fantastic shanties. Jim, thank you so much. That was great. Now, um, our next act, our cask. They are going to be up next. So, uh, if cask are here... Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Are you guys there? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, so uh, we'll mute everybody else and then we'll br um, bring you guys back up. So um, uh, do you want to just uh, take it away and introduce yourselves, please? Thank you very much. Hello. We're a father and daughter shanty duo from Devon. We're called CASC. It stands for Collings Acapella Shanty Crew. And uh, what we'd like to, do to sing for you tonight is it's a almost a Calypso type song and it's called Bimini. Oh, till I go down to Bimini, never take to liquor till I go down to Bimini. We were all sailors till the day our boat sailed into Bimini Bay. We tapped a keg. We loaded on, woke up to find the boat was gone. Send my bell down to Bimini, this town is weary song. Got thrown in jail just for drinking, Barbados rum, Barbados rum. Oh, till I go down to Bimini, never take to liquor till I go down to Bimini. I recollect the other night, it seems there was a friendly fight. It was a woman who brought me to grief, her daddy was the police chief. Send my bail down to Bimini. This town is weary song. Got thrown in jail just for drinking. Barbados rum, Barbados rum. Oh, till I go down to Bimini. Never take to liquor till I go down to Bimini. I told them I would mend my ways. They let me out in 30 days. I took a little drink to quench my thirst. Guess I should have read the label first. Send my bail down to Bimini. This town is weary song. Got thrown in jail just for drinking. Barbados rum. Barbados rum. Oh, till I go down to Bimini, never take to liquor till I go down to Bimini. They tell me Bimini can't afford to keep providing room and board. A man could hear by ball and chain, squeezing rum from sugar cane. Send my bail down to Bimini. This town is weary song, got thrown in jail just for drinking. Barbados rum, Barbados rum. Send my bail down to Bimani. This town is weary song, got thrown in jail just for drinking. Barbados rum. Barbados rum, oh, till I go down to Bimini, never take to lick it till I go down to Bimini. Well, that was Bimini. Thank you. Now, a slightly slower one. Now, this is one that we, we really like, and we're 
we're very grateful to uh, being invited to sing for you up in uh, up in Scotland. We'd like to get there in, in uh, real time one of these days soon. Um, so we'd like to do a slow one now for you, and this is crossing the bar. Just going to find the note. <clears throat> Sunset and evening star And one clear call for me And may there be no moaning of the bar When I put out to sea When I put out to sea when I put out to sea, and may there be no moaning of the bar, when I put out to sea. But such a tide seems asleep to fall for sound and fall. When that which drew out the boundless deep turns again home, turns again home, turns again home. When that which drew out the boundless deep turns again home. Twilight and evening bell, and after that the dark, and may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. When I embark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. From out a bowl of time and place, the flood may barely fall. I hope to see my pilot face to face. When I have crossed the bar, when I have crossed the bar, when I have crossed the bar, I hope to see my pilot face to face. When I have crossed the bar. Thank you, Alvin. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, hope everyone stays safe and well. Thank you very Enjoy much indeed. Enjoy festival. the rest of the festival. Bye bye. Yes. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. That was fantastic. Thank you. That was a uh, uh, cask. Um, Possibly our first parent and daughter, but not the last for the evening. Thanks very much, guys. That was that was wonderful. Um, our next act uh, this evening are going to be the Keelers, who is going to be our gym and some of his mates did some songs for us. Uh, they hail from around about the Newcastle area, but I mean they'll be far better at introducing themselves than ever I could do it. So please. Um, have a warm open shanty festival welcome to the killers hello are you there <laughs> right uh, we are the killers we're from tyneside and uh yeah we've been singing shanties since 1986 we got together for the tall ships race of 1986 i i, I think we're probably the oldest shanty group in the uk um unless anyone wants to challenge that uh, we're well, certainly pro probably the oldest in years as well. <laughs> anyway, there's myself, uh, there's Alan Fitzsimmons, or Fitzy, there's Peter Wood and George Unsack. And uh, if, you're, if the lads are ready, I'm going to, uh, we're just going to sing a, sort of along the line like we do on stage, but we're all in different houses. Uh, so we're going to ask Peter to start. 
And are you there, Peter? And then we go Peter, then Fritzi, then me, then George. Do we have a Peter? Pete's not there. Peter's not there. Oh, huh. well, we'll have a Fitzy then. Where's Fitzy? He's there. Yeah. Is Fitzy there? Yeah. Fitzy, why don't you start and then I'll follow? Okay. Uh, I'm here. Yeah. Oh. That was like Peter's Peter. just there. He's just coming. Are you there, Peter? Okay. Right, you start. <clears throat> There's a girl asleep with a blue dress on. Shake her, John, you shake her. She's waiting there for Uncle Tom. Shake her and we'll wake her. This girl, she just look up to me. Shake her, John, you shake her. For I have been ten months at sea. Shake her and we'll wake her. She's a windward girl with a windward style. Shake her, Johnny, shake her. A dollar all the time, it's well worthwhile. Shake her and we'll wake her. The bin would big wind blows from the west nowhere. Shake her, Johnny, shake her. The big I'll move on to the next verse. Start my video. Oh. Wake and shake her is the cry. Shake her, Johnny, shake her. This bloody shop must Three is dry. Shake her and we'll wake her. Wake and shake her is the cry. Shake her, Johnny, shake her. Make your port and take your pain. Shake her and This girl asleep with a blue dress on. Shake her, Johnny, shake her. She's waiting there for Uncle Tom. Shake her and we'll wake her. You didn't. Yeah, the harmonies of um, the group. Pity. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? Okay. I I learnt this song uh, really on the knee of me me grandmother, and she used to sing this as a dandelion song. Uh, dandelion songs were for for bends on knees where you bounced them up and down. I didn't know until a lot later that it was actually a shanty. Where have you been all the day, Billy boy, Billy boy? Where have you been all the day, me Billy boy? Where well, I've been walking on the quay with me charming Nancy Lee. And me Nancy tickle me fancy off me charming Billy boy. Why can't you make an Irish Jew, Billy boy, Billy boy? Can't you make an Irish Jew, me Billy boy? Why she can make an Irish Jew, I and sing and hear his too. And me Nancy tickle me fancy, oh me charming Billy boy. 
Or can she cook a bit of steak? Billy boy, Billy boy. Can she cook a bit of steak, me Billy boy? When she can cook a bit of steak, I and make a good little cake. And me Nancy tickle me fancy, oh, me charming Billy boy. But is she fit to be your wife? Billy boy, Billy boy, is she fit to be your wife, me Billy boy? When she's fit to be me wife, as the fork is to the knife, and me Nancy tickle me fancy, oh, me charming Billy boy. But does she lie close unto thee, Billy boy, Billy boy, does she lie close unto thee, me Billy boy? Why she lies close unto me as the bark is to the tree, and me Nancy tickle me fancy, oh me charming Billy boy. But can she make a feather bed, Billy boy, Billy boy? Can she make a feather bed, me Billy boy? Why she can make a feather bed fit for any sailor's head. And me Nancy tickle me fancy, oh me charming Billy boy. So where have you been all the day, Billy boy, Billy boy? Where have you been all the day, me Billy boy? Where well, I've been walking on the quay with me charming Nancy Lee. And me Nancy tickle me fancy, oh me charming Billy boy. Thank you. Thank you, Fitzy. So, uh, yeah, as you probably know, like, like Muldoon's Picnic, we are essentially a harmony group, and uh, it's very difficult for the members of the group in isolation to lead chanties when they're normally doing bass harmonies or top harmonies. And uh, anyway, I'm all right because I just do the melody all the time. So here's a shanty from... Uh, the collection of the great American collector, James Madison Carpenter. It's a wonderful uh, shanty called Down Trinidad. Oh, tell me, Master Steve, it oh, how you stole your cargo. Way, hey, sing sunny door. Tell me, Master Steve, it oh, how you stole your cargo. Bound down Trinidad to look for sunny door. Boats free me, body boys, and burdened in the archway. Way, hey, sing sunny door. Boats free me, body boys, and burdened in the archway. Bound down Trinidad to look for sunny door. Oh, Trinidad, oh, Trinidad, that pretty little harbour. Way, hey, sing sunny door. Oh, Trinidad, oh, Trinidad, that pretty little harbour. Bound down Trinidad to look for sunny door. But free me, bully boys, and burdened in the archway. Way, hey, sing sunny door. But free me, bully boys, and burdened in the archway. Bound down Trinidad to look for sunny door. What will you do with sunny door if ever you should find her? Way, hey, sing sunny door. What will you do with Sonny Door if ever you should find her? Bound down Trinidad to look for Sonny Door. Butch free me, bully boys, and burdened in the archway. Way, hey, sing Sonny Door. Butch free me, bully boys, and burdened in the archway. Bound down Trinidad to look for Sonny Door. Roll her in the grass, me boys, and all among the clover. Way, hey, sing sunny door, roll her in the grass, me boys, and all among the clover. Bound down Trinidad to look for sunny door, but free me, bully boys, and burdened in the archway. Way, hey, sing sunny door, but free me, bully boys, and burdened in the archway. Bound down Trinidad to look for sunny door, down Trinidad to look for sunny door. Uh -huh. oh, <laughs> <laughs> from, uh, from George, which is also one of the James Madison, Madison Carpenter collection uh, shanties. And then we're going to go back along the line, if that's all right. So, shanty from George. 
I went to church, I went to chapel, pull down below. I went to church, I went to chapel, pull down below. Away go lally, pull down below. We go lally in the valley, pull down the willow. On the way I found an apple, pull down below. On the way I found an apple, pull down below. Away go lally, pull down below. In the valley, pull down below. Who's been here since I've been gone? Pull down below. Oh, who's been here since I've been gone? Pull down below. Away, go lally, pull down below. Eagle lally in the valley, pull down below. A Yankee mate with his big boots on, pull down below. A Yankee mate with his big boots on, pull down below. Away, go lally, pull down below. Eagle lally in the valley, pull down below. Who's been here since I've been gone? Pull down below. Who's been here since I've been gone? Pull down below. Away, go lally, pull down below. Go lally in the valley, pull down below. A lime juice mate with his cheese could have run. Pull down below. A lime juice mate with his cheese could have run. Pull down below. Away, go lally, pull down below. Pull down below. I went to church, I went to chapel. Pull down below. I went to church, I went to chapel. Pull down below. Away, Eagle Alley. Pull down below. Eagle Alley in the valley. Pull down below. Away, Eagle Alley. Pull down below. Eagle Alley in the valley. Pull down below. And George. Um, this is a, a, a song I've been singing since a, before I joined the Keelers. It's Ooh, Liverpool uh, Bound. There's a girl asleep with a new dress on. But you've sang that one, Peter. Uh, you've sang that one already. Did you ever see a wild girl sailing on the ocean? Runs oh, runs away. Hey. They're just like them pretty girls when they get the notion. Runs all, runs away. The other day I was walking down by the river. Runs all, runs away. When I spied a pretty female. With the topsails all the quiver runs all runs away, and I said, my pretty fair maid, and how are you this morning? Runs all. Runs away. She's less than the better for the singing of you. Runs away. Runs away. Did you ever see a wild goose? Sailing on the ocean, runs all, runs away, just like them pretty girls when they get the notion, 
Runzo, Runzo, Well done, Peter. And, and back a bit. Uh, okay, this is a this is a pump shanty, and uh, I was looking through Stan's book the other day, and. Um, and there's a, a wonderful song in there, a shanty, uh, and it's just for the title, if nothing else. Uh, the title was Put Your Shoulder Next to Me and Pump Away. And I thought, you know, I just might have to learn that one. <laughs> in the meantime, here's a pump shanty. Oh, the maid was drunk and he went below To take a swig of his bottle, oh So early I in the morning The sailor likes his bottle, oh A bottle of whiskey, a bottle of gin A bottle of old Jamaica, oh So early I in the morning The sailor likes his bottle, oh Tobacco, tobacco, oh the sailor likes his backy o so well I in the morning. The sailor likes his backy o a packet of shag, a packet of twist, a packet of randy dandy o so well I in the morning. The sailor likes his backy o The Judy's o the lassie's o the sailor likes the Judy's O, oh, so well I in the morning. The sailor likes the lassies, O, oh, the Judy's from pool, the lassies from Tyne, Chandler's from over the ocean, O, oh, so well I in the morning. The sailor likes the lassies, O. Oh. A rough house, oh, a rough house, oh, the sailor likes a rough house, oh, so well I in the morning, the sailor likes a rough house, oh, and all hands in, and all hands in, a jolly good rough and tumble, oh, so well I in the morning, the sailor likes a rough house, oh. A sing song, oh, a sing song, oh, the sailor likes a sing song, oh, so well I in the morning. The sailor likes a sing song, oh, a song of joy, a song of love, a ditty of seas and shipmates, oh, so well I in the morning. The sailor likes a sing song, oh. The maid was drunk and he went below to take a swig of his bottle low. So well I in the morning, the sailor likes his bottle low. Cheers. <laughs> uh, I think a Hilo shanty. Uh, lots, of, lots of shanties mentioned Hilo. There was a port called Hilo. In the Hawaiian Islands, it was a whaling station, but most of the Hilo shanties uh, refer to the, the port of Ilo, I L O, in Peru, which was a guano port. So we used to sail all the way around, all the way around Cape Horn uh, and uh, to pick up boatloads of bird shit, basically. So here's a Hilo shanty. I never seen the like since I've been born. When a railroad navvy with his sea boots on Says Johnny come down to high love Poor old man Oh wake her, oh shake her Oh wake that girl with the blue dress on When Johnny come down to high love Poor old man I love a little girl across the sea She's a fading beauty and she says to me Oh Johnny come down to high love Poor old man, oh wake her, oh shake her, oh wake that girl with the blue dress on when Johnny come down to high long. Poor old man, say was you never down Carolina way where they picked that cotton on the summer's day when Johnny come down to high long. Poor old man, oh wake her, oh 
shake her. Oh, wait, that girl with the blue dress on. When Johnny come down the high log, poor old man. When we get down the high low town, gonna see them flash girls dance around. When Johnny come down the high low, poor old man. Oh, wake her, oh, shake her, oh, wake that girl with the blue dress on. When Johnny come down the high low, poor old man. And all the girls love my Uncle Joe when he swings them round with a roll and go. When Johnny come down the high low, Poor old man, oh wake her, oh shake her, oh wake that girl with the blue dress on when Johnny come down the high lawn. Poor old man, and all the girls love my uncle Ned, though he ain't got a hair on his own bald head when Woo. Johnny come down the high lawn. Poor old man, oh wake her, oh shake her, oh wake that girl with the blue dress on when. Johnny come down the high low, poor old man. And all the girls love my Uncle Dick when he chases them with his great big stick. When Johnny Whoa. come down the high low, poor old man. Oh, wake her, oh, shake her, oh, wake that girl with the blue dress on. When Johnny come down the high low, poor old man. Good on, Jim. Guano shanties, I think, uh, from the guano trade. I think George is going to finish up with a, a shanty from the cotton trade. Yeah, and this one is uh, actually uh, originally started off as a poem, uh, and it was written by a lady called C. Fox Smith. Uh, now she had spent some time out in uh, Vancouver Island, and uh, she went spent a, a, a dodgy time, I would think, in the, in the pubs of uh, Vancouver Island. Uh, listening to the sailors and she collected lots of the songs so this is one of the songs but she included the real shanty chorus in it so join in please there's a song going through my mind all day as a song will sometimes do and it takes me back to me years of youth and the men and the ways i knew the men I've known in the time that's passed On a ship of all renown When I sailed on a day to Mobile Bay Where they roll the cotton down Roll the cotton, coral the cotton Moses Roll the cotton, oh, roll the cotton down Roll the cotton, roll the cotton, Moses. Roll the cotton, oh, roll the cotton down. I remember the feel of the noonday sun and those warm West Indian smells. Rum and sugar and spice and mud and the dear Lord knows what else. The shuffle and stamp of the naked feet on the levee once again it all comes back to the days that were to the sound of that old refrain roll the cotton roll the cotton moses roll the cotton no oh, roll the cotton down roll the cotton Roll the cotton, Moses, roll the cotton, oh, roll the cotton down. It's the width of a world from here, worse look, and a half of me life since then, and it's ill to tread, I've heard it said, a trail you've left again, and you may sail east, and you may sail west, when the folks are yellow and brown, but I'll sail no more to Mobile Bay, where they roll the cotton down. Roll the cotton, roll the cotton, Moses. Roll the cotton, oh, roll the cotton down. Roll the cotton. Roll the cotton, Moses, 
roll a cotton, oh, roll a cotton down. I think that's the best harmonies George. we've ever done so far. Thank you, George. We are at Peelers. If you, if you like us, visit us at peelers.net. Yeah. Got some CDs. Come and see us, keelers.net. Thanks a lot. Thanks Another for great festival. Look Thank forward you. To next year. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye. you to the Keelers for the wonderful performance. Uh, there's a link in the chat to their, uh, their own website. Go check them out. See them live once it's come up, once we're out, able to get our CDs. Um, we're going to take a break soon, but can we have a bit of thanks, please, for the Silver Darlings and for Muldoon's picnic. Jim's wonderful speech and uh, Stan's presentation. And for Cass and for the Keelers one more time. That was a great performance, guys. Thank you so much. So we're going to take a break for five minutes. So charge your glasses, seek whatever comfort you need, and we'll be back with you in about five minutes' time, folks. Thank you so much. We'll see you very soon. I'll be taking over after the break. Thank you, Martin.